Well, here's the video I'm shooting in my uh, R-Pod that I bought in, uh, in September back in Walcott, Iowa in uh, 2016. So I've been working on it ever since I built this canopy. I just got this canopy. It's a, a 12 foot by 20 and I added two more feet so it would fit. So there's a few things and I work on it and a lot of things and I started off, I started off here and I'm shooting. I, I went there and put a power jack on it and I got the power jack here on it and and uh, twin tanks, twin tanks and inside I put uh, this this box on here on the front and I have two six volt batteries inside uh, with automatic watering system, so I don't have to worry about it. I just put them all watering so and uh, So I'll just go around to the other side here and, and uh, See a few things that I put on I put on this uh, Awning up here to keep the sticks and stones out of it and this is a few of the things that I did while I was uh, working on it and all all and and uh, so different things that I, that I worked with. And uh, I went to the, got rid of the Chinese tires and, and put these tires on. And these are uh, the Goodyear and, uh, Endurance tires. These are the two ST2-1575 radio 14 inch tires. I put them on and uh, see if I can get some better mileage out of them. And I had 8,000 miles on the regular original tires, but I thought ah, I'm gonna put a stronger tire on because I get 65 pounds of air in that tire. So, and uh, being that the, everything was low here, I, the uh, sewer outlet was real, really low. So what I did is took a, took a, uh, spring that I found that I had in the junk pile here and I put a spring on it so just in case I hit rocks and all that kind of stuff I I won't uh, knock the sewer pipe off and I'd hate to do that when I was out there along the highway so these are the few things that I added to it and, and uh, you can see another shot of my up, up on the top here, I haven't put this on, and uh, it sure saves on sticks and stones and dirt and all this on there when I move the slide out in and out. So uh, anyway, we'll take you inside and show you a few things, and we're going toward the front again, and uh, there's a setup I have, and and uh, all that, I got two two tanks on here, and and uh, have a power jack because I'm a little lazy of turning it up and down, get everything up and down. And of course, these batteries all get all locked up and all this. So then I usually on this side, I usually have my 10 foot porta boat, but I don't carry it all the time, and here I had a, a 10 foot awning, or nine and a half foot awning, and I put this awning up here, and I moved the, the original track that was on the RV here, on the R pod for my uh, room that I got with the, with the room on it, and I moved it up about oh, an inch and a half, and I can still put the room on here if I want, and uh, so this is that's a cool kind of a deal and and uh, from just traveling along I just uh, can use the awning but uh, when I'm sitting for a while I can use the room that came with the trailer and on the back here I have the I have the spare tire and the, the box I carry gasoline another 20 gallon propane tank that I built and I think what I'm doing I have a 
a bumper that I'm working on, so I'm going to probably put the bumper on. But I have a backup camera up there on the top, and and uh, uh, got a little smell from the sewer, so I put on that fan, and it really helps. So we'll go on inside now, and and see what we got in here. So right down inside the door. I put this heater because the heater's under the bed and I sure have a hard time uh, trying to get heat out and, uh, with it under the bed so uh, I just uh, on these heaters that come in these trailers uh, more heat goes outside than what comes inside so I have this one and and this really heats up real fast so I use this one so yeah as I come in some of the things that I did, you know, I added a few things. I have a, all this, and, and, uh, I have, uh, I put the towel holder up here, and I put a blind here. I like that, this blind better than the cheap Chinese blinds that come with it. And, uh, uh, of course, I went to different, different cabinets and stuff, and all this, in here, all through here, that sink and the stove, I put this countertop on. Then I go into the bathroom. Oh, and I put this uh, uh, monitor, this 12 volt monitor, so I know what my batteries are all the time. So, right now they're 13 2, but of course I'm plugged in. They're the 2 6 volts. So, and then here's the bathroom, and of course I changed the. Uh, the, the, the shower nozzle. I put a different shower nozzle on and and one of the problems I had this summer when I was traveling uh, this shower drain you stand on here and from the factory you stand on the shower and there's a platform underneath it and it has four little two by fours propping it up well, when you stand on the shower floor, uh, this here sink right here, this went down, and of course, all the water ran out and ran around here. So I got uh, silicone, marine silicone, and and placed it around the, the drain, and I went in and put four more support, two by four supports underneath. And uh, now it doesn't leak and everything looks fine. Of course, we're in the Arizona heat. And uh, one day I come in here and, and of course, the mirror fell off the wall. So I put supports on the mirror and now it'll never fall off the wall again. So I have that in my laundry basket. And in here I put a little... Uh, safe and and I built this little cabinet here and a uh, uh, little storage and and uh, in in here I put mom has her shelf on the bottom and mine's in the middle and then we have pills and all that up on top then right here I put built in a safe this is a little safe I carry extra money in there and and uh, maybe I'll have my pistol sitting in there or whatever but it's pretty handy little shelf a little space that they had dead weight so I used that and of course mom my wife's uh, floor uh, mop and all that so we'll go out and and I got rid of the table top and I put another table in here because uh, we play a lot of cards and games and stuff and have a big solid table. This is all solid. Nobody travels with us. We we uh, don't need any more sleeping room. So I have this. But the neat thing about this, I put up a 12 volt and uh, a television here. And they had the 110 television right behind it, right up here on the top. Well, when you're sitting in the, in the RP, RP-180, uh, the way they had the television, uh, only one person could watch TV, and that was 
the person sitting on the seat right here. And, and over here, the person on this seat, the TV is right above. You can't see unless you have your eyes behind your head. So what I did, I took their television and moved it all the way across to this side. And now I have the TV over here. That's a 110 TV. And this one over here is a 12 volt TV. So if I want to watch TV in bed, I can just turn this TV around and watch TV in the bed. And if I want, or if I want to watch the big TV, I just take, change the pillows out. And then another addition I added, I, I used this space up here and I built myself uh, some some cabinets. Now these cabinets, they all open and uh, I have storage in here and clothing and storage in there and the same way with this one. Well, this television, of course, can fold back and uh, get in that cabinet. So, so uh, this is about a 20-inch uh, cabinet in space and, and uh, of course, there I have the headphones if we want silence from one another and the map books but anyway this is a lot of things that I'd made changes with and I went to put some doors down there I put a door down there instead of them the net that they had in there and then I put in uh, a 2000 watt inverter right here in the floor and, and I have that inverter in there so, uh, oh, all that, and of course, uh, with the cheap converter that was in this one right here, the powerhouse, that was the converter. I put a, a, a different converter in there. I burnt the, first, the original converter out, so I got an aftermarket converter and put it in. So, uh, all that. And as we traveled this summer, I got sick and tired of the seats always coming up they slide front they slide front so what I did is put on a new add addition where the seats are held in by this piece of wood that I have on here that I dressed up and built the wood here so uh, that's kind of nifty setup but uh, under here and then of course they had a lot of spare things so I got these seats and and uh, I'll take these cushions off and show you underneath here I put uh, shelves that you can open and close uh, real easy instead of folding them down and then of course I use this drawer as my bread box so uh, this is this is the drawer here, but the space in the back is where I have my uh, all my my uh, leftover little plastic dishes and all that. I, I use that. I utilize that space real good. But what I'm saying is, look at this board across the front here. That gives you that the seats will not move front like they always did as we traveled. So now I, all I do is take the seat and slide it in and there it is set, permanent. And it won't, won't slide, it won't move. And uh, so that's kind of the, what I've been doing in this thing. And, and uh, they build it and I finish it. Because there's lots of things like the heaters underneath there. Well, I have a big drawer that I slide in here that I hold a lot of a lot of things in here that food stuffs and all that that slide in there. Well, the heater's down there, and I just don't particularly care for that kind of a heater anyway. So, uh, because most of the heat goes outside through the experience and through the last 50 years I've been doing this traveling those heaters are about as useless as 
well, what you can say, because all the heat goes out, well, half the heat goes out, and the rest come in, but under the seat, the way they have it designed, oh, well, much to be desired. So, I have a broom closet in here. I have the broom's sitting in here, like that, and, and, uh, and uh, we use a lot of plastic forks and spoons and stuff. There's only the two of us, so we travel alone. And we're never in a hurry. This is my knife rack. It's a magnetic rack. I have it on the wall. And, uh, of course, if I have tissues and all that, and, and my cross. And, and so that's kind of what our trailer looks like, you know, RR pod. Another thing I added is real American good speakers, decent speakers. I have a pair of them. I have one here, and then I look back, and and uh, the other one is there. So, other than all that, we uh, we added quite a few things to it, and and uh, to make it comfortable for what we need, and uh, it's pretty good, great trailer. I have about oh, ten thousand miles on it now, so. Uh, Next year, we'll be heading out again in the summer. We're snowbirds, so we live here in Arizona in the winter, and then we travel a lot, and this is one of my mascots here. So uh, I'm going to end this uh, right about here, and, and uh, welcome to anybody that would like information. I'd put it on the forum, but I'm not good at uh, uh, putting pictures on the forum because, hey, I don't have a kid at home to show me how to do it. And uh, I'm 80 years old, so uh, this is what we like to do. And and I'll get some use out of this thing and as long as I'm around. Uh, thank God we, we travel a lot. So thank you and uh, talk to you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.